Greetings, ladies and mantle gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales, Tales from Outer Space. 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 And as always, I hope that you enjoy. What do you fight for? Written by LG Father Anthracite. These damn tunnels were confusing. There was poor visibility, traps everywhere, and the damn things were infested with humans. I just wanted to finish the sweep and clear and go back to base so that I could rest and eat. I'm tired of chasing after shadows in these pits. My patrol partner was injured by a booby trap, and I had been forced to leave him behind. He was probably already dead. I heard humans don't even leave behind the bodies of the dead. Apparently, anything they couldn't eat just got used as materials for making equipment. I'd seen them myself. Humans with scraps of carapace tied around their bodies, crude spears made out of claws tied to ends of stinks. They really were monsters. Squishy, oil, hairy little vermin that swarmed and consumed. I know why they needed to be conquered, but what was the point of subjugating them? They were just to be a drain on the Empire's resources if they really ate their own body weight every cycle. No wonder they were trying to scrape them off of those so many planets. They were going to stripe them bare of biomass in no time. I was so preoccupied thinking about how they were that I failed to notice a human had been approaching. I spotted him right around the same time he saw me. Damn, if I hadn't been daydreaming, I would have got the drop on him. I'll have to report my incompetence when I get back to base. I'm not looking forward to the punishment, but it would be even worse if I let him get away. He turned and ran back up the tunnel that he had been coming down, and I chased after him. It was a quick one. I just barely was able to get close to him when he suddenly turned down a side tunnel, and I had to skid and go back to make the turn. I was running down the tunnel, trying to catch up, when I fell into a trap. I fell to the bottom of a covered pit. I could feel my shell crack when I landed, and I tasted blood in my mouth. This is it, I thought. Everything was getting darker. Darker even than these godforsaken tunnels. This is how you die. Food for a vermin. Now, not how a warrior wants to end. I laughed once, and then I was unconscious. I woke up in a bright room. It was white, clean, and it smelled of harsh chemicals. I cannot move. My limbs are immobilized, but the pain is intense. I can feel the cold air stinging my soft flesh through the many cracks in my carapace. I see a portal open, and a human comes in. I know what will happen next. I will be consumed but I will not die like a coward. Come then, beast, eat my flesh, but I pray to the masters that you choke on every bite. I strain against the invisible bonds that restrain me, but I cannot move. The human approaches without fear. It goes straight to the largest crack in my exoskeleton and reaches its wiggly tentacles at me. I'm sure it's going to rub out a piece of flesh to eat and brace myself for the pain. But I feel nothing. When I look, it is examining the crack. After a few minutes, it applies some sort of thick goop, which quickly hardens and seals the crack. The human applies the sealing agent to all major cracks in my shell, and slowly, the pain subsides. After it is finished, it leaves the room. It never says anything, and never looks at my face. I am left to ponder what it is to be my fate. Perhaps they wanted to keep me alive until they needed me for food. Perhaps... They wanted to nurse me back to hell so they could perform experiments on me. I had heard rumors that captured was worse than death. I was unlucky, indeed. My membranes grew heavy and my eyes closed. I fell into an uneasy sleep, speculating on my final fate. How goes the programming? asked a man in uniform. Well, it's been fairly simple so far. The poor bastards have been purposely bred to be suggestible and not to question what they are told. I'm actually a little afraid of them being taken advantage of, after we have sought all of this out. I'll pass that concern along, replied the uniformed man. Speaking of sorting this out, how goes the war? Please, these guys haven't got the skills of a greenie fresh out of basic. The so-called masters have no idea what they have coming for them. Hopefully, another twenty cycles will see this all end. But you're going to be busy long after that, Doc. Yeah... Because I have so much free time now. Speaking of which, time for my three o'clock. I do not understand. You are not going to consume my flesh, no. 
And you will not kill me. No, no, we won't. Unless you force us to. I look at the oily pink thing in front of me. He stares back at me. Why have you captured me then? I ask. To free you from the masters. What do you mean? I was free, but now you have me bound here. I throw his lies in his face. Oh, you could move around before, but you were forced to fight. Told what to think, sent halfway across the galaxy to throw your life away for the masters. You were never free, the human said calmly. I came here to keep you from destroying the worlds the masters have claimed. That is why I fight. You fight to save the masters' worlds. I'm here to save my home. The masters decided that they wanted our worlds and then sent you to take them from us. Home? I asked, confused. That's right. I was born here. I fight because I have family here. Friends. A life that your masters have decided to try and end arbitrarily. I am here to protect those things. I also fight to protect you. I do not need your help. His words make me angry, but I don't know why. Oh, really? Then tell me, why do you fight? Have we invaded your world, or were you simply told to fight? Did the masters even ask you to fight in person? Or did you just get sent here and told to fight by one of your officers? Back home, do you have family, a home, or were you produced in a breeder tank, live in the barracks? I've seen the shells of my kind, worn as armor. You would kill and eat us. How does he know so much? I admit we did some pretty grisly things to survive, but once we had reinforcements from our other worlds, we stumped. This is one of the problems your people seem to have no perception of. What problems? We are steadily taking control of more ground. Soon you'll be routed, and we will have saved the planet from your insatiable scourge. My kind have not had a casualty in nearly three months. How many of the patrols have never come home? Who taught you? that you were gaining ground. The masters. They think they can just keep throwing soldiers at us until they crush us out of existence. But they never bothered to learn anything about us. We spend millennia practicing every type of war you can imagine. Your simple tactics and low-tech gear are no match for us when we are properly equipped. I... But, uh, You are a scourge. You eat your own body weight every cycle... You would destroy this planet's ecosystem in just a few atoms. Would the masters lie? I eat maybe a kilo of food every cycle. More lies from your masters. You say you fight for me. How can you do that when we are enemies? I asked, my final desperate attempt to salvage something of what I knew before. What are you? He asked me. I am a warrior, I said immediately. I wasn't. Not until you attacked. I was an doctor. I helped people get over trauma and mental health issues. I never wanted to fight. But you. You were raised from the tank to be a fighter. No one ever asked if you wanted to fight. No one let you try and write poetry. No one gave you paints and canvas. Nobody asked you to tell them a story. They never let you build anything, make something. They never even asked if you wanted to try anything but fighting. You are a slave, and the masters threw away your life to conquer a planet they desire out of greed. I'm here to tell you the truth, to fight for you. So, one day, you can decide to be a poet, or a writer, or a fighter, but we want you to make that choice. We are not your enemy, nor your masters. We only want to be your friend. End of story. Just a quick shout out to the T5 peeps. Bob the Dragon, Cat Crab Lobster, Data Magnet, Dark Machine, Bezik, Try Again 95, Feudic Yol, Astraea the Dreamer, Caspar Arnholtz, Cam Maxwell, Athelia, Meridian 117, and Jordan Buxmorm. Thank you very much. And that, my friends, concludes this video. I hope that you enjoyed. There are links down below both to support this channel and for the author of this fiction. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic one, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.